from Indie Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. Good afternoon, I'm Megan Shen with your top stories. We continue to follow the investigation into the mass shooting at the Greenwood Park Mall. Four people are dead, including the shooter whom police say was killed by an armed civilian and two others are still recovering in the hospital. Police say the shooting happened on Sunday evening in the mall's food court. In Beach Grove, police are looking for a white Toyota Camry that may contain the suspects in a shooting that left one person dead and four others wounded. The shooting happened during a prayer vigil around 10 o'clock Sunday night at Don Chalice Park. Investigators tell us at least one person who was injured is a juvenile. Beach Grove police say there is an on no ongoing threat to the community. In the meantime, if you have any information about what happened at Don Chalice Park, please call Beach Grove Police immediately. Cleanup continues today after storms dumped nearly nine inches of rain in parts of Delaware County, Hamilton County and Madison County. One of the hardest hit communities is the town of Elwood. Authorities say roads in the area took the brunt of the high water and those who live in the Elwood area reported having flooded basements. But the EMA director says no injuries are reported and nobody was forced out of their homes. Let's get a check of the weather now with meteorologist Tal Klaus. All right, temperatures today are going to be in the mid 80s throughout the afternoon hours and after kind of a dreary morning with the clouds, plenty of sunshine this afternoon. High temperatures today are the coolest that are going to be the entire week as a big heat wave is heading our way. And this evening, partly cloudy skies, 80s eventually down into the 70s. And then for the day tomorrow, we make that jump up to that about 90 degree mark. We may not quite get there uh, during the day tomorrow. If we don't get there tomorrow, we definitely do on Wednesday with a high of 94. Wednesday, also some spotty storms and then highs stay in the low 90s all the way into the weekend with the chance of some spotty storms on Saturday and Sunday as well.